brooch earring set 1959 book piece hey fellow buddies thanks for watching all right you guys in this video we are going to talk about big money jewelry jewelry items to be on the lookout for that members of my facebook group shared so basically i invited members of my bolo buddies facebook group to share their big money bolo jewelry items and I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So the first item here comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty. And if you are not following Cat Feelin' Thrifty on whatnot, I'm just going to say, what are you doing? Now, she does pull items out here and there to help cover her cost of goods. And she will put them on eBay. But most of her vintage items, and when I tell you, she has some of the most beautiful vintage items that she brings to whatnot that I have ever seen. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Her stuff is incredible. I just love watching her shows. So even if you're not looking to buy, if you like vintage uh, jewelry, go check out Cat Feel and Thrifty on whatnot. Uh, she goes on... One day she does vintage and the other day she does vintage and costume. So she's on twice a week. I do have a referral link uh, down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join with that. So I'm on whatnot also. So come check us out. Uh, but she is incredible. But this, she'll bring stuff like this to whatnot also. I mean, it's just incredible the items she brings. If you guys have bought from Cat Feel and Thrifty, or have watched her shows, let me know down in the comments what you think of her whatnot. It's just incredible. Okay, so here's what she said. I bought a big box of jewelry from an online auction for 80, and these Napier earrings were one of the items in the box, so a few cents cost in these. I couldn't stop staring at these. I listed and included a video of them dazzling before bedtime. My my prefer listing time and they sold overnight for full list price plus shipping thanks courtney you are always wait thanks courtney you always are helping us grow our businesses you rock my store is cat feel and thrifty so she is cat feel and thrifty on whatnot and on ebay but let's see this bling let's check out this video and what a good idea right to show the sparkle and to give them a little swirl so if you guys take advantage of that in your um listing, okay gives people an idea of the bling and there it was all right so that is a little tip right there show the bling all right the next item she said this is cat feel and thrifty also went to a local fundraiser featuring jewelry to benefit the little town libraries I picked this beauty up for 20, not knowing anything about the designer, but it was too beautiful and heavy not to be something good. Again, surprised by the comps. I listed it for 155, but forgot to remove from the promotion sale that I was running that week. But I was so excited that it sold within a few hours for 124 plus shipping. Cha-ching. Cat feeling thrifty. This is a Kendra Scott design brooch, large red faceted glass rhinestone prong set. And there it is. Kendra Scott. It's beautiful. All right. This one is mine. And it's kind of a random, not really a jewelry item, but jewelry for your keys, right? Uh, it kind of caught me off guard and I thought this was a good place to share it. It says Komatsu. K-O-M-A-T-S-U. I, I guess that's a brand. Bulldozer Keychain New Old Stock Collectible. And it's a keychain. It was in the original bag. It says, jewelry for your keys. This is actually a keychain, but thought I would put it here. Bins find found um, at the bins. So probably what? 10, 15 cents in this. And sold it for a best offer of $40. All right. So... What do you guys think about keychains? Should I do a video on keychains that sell for big money? Never thought about that. Uh, not a whole lot of people shared in the jewelry post, which surprised me because there are so many amazing jewelry bolos, but I am going to share with you some of the other ones. This one here comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, 
And she said, okay, don't come for me. This may be a little bit of a stretch, but you see these used in jewelry all the time. So I had a keychain, and she's going to tell you about shells. <laughs> but that's okay because she's right. Abalone is used in jewelry all the time. She said, I got these for pennies on the very last day in the last hour of an estate sale where it was $5 fill a bag. Ikea, of course. I might have 25 cents in all four of these. Not many people selling this particular abalone shell. And if I remember, it was pretty much one person who had the market on them and they tried to snipe them from me for cheap. But I wasn't born yesterday. Check out my eBay store, Farm Girl Scavengers. And feel free to come check out YouTube channel, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Uh, to learn stuff, to learn all the stuff in my head. <laughs> so Noelle has a really good memory and she is a bolo finder and you will definitely learn a lot from her YouTube channel. These sold for $69.99 and shipped. They, uh, it was $99.65 all in and they are absolutely beautiful. So abalone shells and you guys will see jewelry made out of abalone and a lot of it sells for decent money. It's really, really beautiful. Now, this one here is not a huge money bolo, but it is one single brass button. Vintage Eagle with anchor, one inch navy brass button, Waterbury button. And let's just think about if you had 25 of these and did a multi-quantity listing, which she didn't have 25, but she has sold six and has five still left. And she listed them at $9.74. So you are buying one. Not a huge sale. And for men, these are jewelry for their uniforms. I love buttons. When you are at an estate sale, which is pretty much where I source, look for the buttons. Unless you are sourcing with me, then just know I already got them. <laughs> Anytime there is a sewing room in a house that had a member who was in the military, I promise you there will be military buttons. She promises, guys. Let's see. You guys make sure you, uh, let's see if she's right. All right. You guys check those uh, military rooms, sewing rooms. One listing, and I just keep adding as I pick them up. This is what Courtney Bolo Buddies calls a bread and butter item. I sell these at least once a week. Don't forget to check out my eBay store and YouTube channel. Almost forgot. These usually sell for right around nine-ish dollars plus shipping. This one sold for $909, $15.38 shipped. Did I mention I love buttons? So I have a video all about big money buttons to look for. So this is a bread and butter that you sell over and over and over again. But if you want to find the ones that are worth big money, check out my buttons bolo video. It's a category video. This is another one. She said, let's go. I'm not bringing the big stuff this month for right now. I want to show you some of the little things that will always sell because they are a specialty item. This one was sent to me by a friend from New York. So free to me. Gotta love the free stuff. The buy was being installed as an off. Oh, no. The buyer was being installed as an officer in their local shrine club and was excited to get this. Paid $19.99 plus shipping and we're all in for $28.12 with shipping. Check out eBay store, Farm Girl Scavengers. She sold it for $19.99. And to go along with this, I'm going to share one of my bolos with you. And it's kind of a similar story um, as to why somebody was looking for it. But this is a Shrine Schmittar Tassel Holder by D. Turin and Company, Silvertone Clear Rhinestones. And that's what it looks like. All right. The next one is also from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Lastly, for now, don't pass by the little things. This item was also free to me, sent in the mail from a friend in Burns, Oregon. You know who you are. All of these groups and religions all have pins, brooches, hats, you name it, and they love to keep these items within their organizations. So when you find them, they usually are pennies to pick up, and sometimes you can find multiples. Double your money. The buyer paid $17.59 and we're all in for $25.65, all in shipped. And it says it is a vintage IOOF old fellas PNG Masonic Pass Noble Grand Lodge necklace medallion. And this is what it looks like. So there you go. 
All right. Now this one is mine. And again, I talked about uh, Cat Feel and Thrifty sometimes listing some of her jewelry on eBay. I have to do the same because when I am selling things on whatnot, I am starting my items at $5 or less. Cat Feel and Thrifty does something very similar. If she has um, a set, sometimes she'll start it at seven, but we both start our items low and just hope for the best. Sometimes they sell for $5. It happens. So with that in mind, every once in a while, we will pull an item and put it on eBay just to try to make up because we do have to buy the stuff <laughs> for some of the lost profits um, for when an item goes for the minimum bid. And it does happen. And that's OK. Um, we like you guys to get the deals also. And this one was a Regency signed green necklace. And I just thought it was beautiful. I didn't really know anything about this brand Regency. I did look it up. I could not find the exact same necklace. So what do I do? I list it high and wait for the right buyer because at, somebody put in my comments once that all of my jewelry is listed too high. <laughs> and I'm like, it probably is because I don't know how to list jewelry. I'm really bad at it. That's why I like to bring it to whatnot. Started at $5 and let you guys determine the value because it's hard. It's hard for me. Uh, I have always struggled with jewelry on eBay and the other selling platforms. And I try really hard to find comps and to do a good job, but it's just tough for me. So whatnot is really just perfect. It's perfect for me to sell jewelry, but I did list it high and I'm going to tell you what happened. I said, this one was unexpected. I buy jewelry in bulk. I sell most of my jewelry on whatnot Vola buddies and untangling shows on Tuesday and Thursday at 9, 18 PM Eastern time. I do also have shows where I curate and they are specialty shows. I usually do those on Sunday. For example, all vintage animal glass, stone, and more. Those shows are normally Sunday. Every once in a while, I try to list some jewelry on eBay just to stay active in the jewelry category on eBay. This had a brand on it, so I figured I would try it. Sold pretty quickly for $130. That is another thing also. Um... I'm sourcing, but I'm mostly sourcing for jewelry. So to set, stay relevant on eBay, I need to be listing on eBay. So sometimes I just have to pull some stuff. I listed some little uh, pins the other day just to get into the algorithm on eBay because I'm doing uh, three shows a week on whatnot. And it takes a lot of time, but uh, I do need to keep listing on eBay so that my items don't sink because if you don't list, you will find that you sell less. And that's kind of currently happening to me. So I need to get listing. But anyway, if you see this Regency brand, definitely look it up. And I hope to see you guys at a future whatnot show. Uh, again, I'm Bolo Buddies over there and get that referral link down below and grab your $15 to shop. Um, I have had people find unmarked gold, unmarked silver and unmarked diamonds in my untanglings. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? All unmarked. I didn't realize so many things were unmarked and they've been kind enough to tell me. So I can't imagine how many people have found things and they haven't told me. So come to an untangling, you might find something cool. All right, this one comes from the Funky Pickle store and she is the Funky Pickle thrifter on YouTube and she is a reseller of jewelry. She sells other things also, but man, oh man, she knows her stuff on jewelry. So check her out. This is a vintage crown trafari bird brooch pin, Alfred Felipe jelly belly cabochon. And this is what it looks like. She said, I love selling trafari pieces. And when I saw this at an in-person auction, I knew it was a winner. I could have held out for full price, but ended up taking a best offer of 300. This piece was designed by Trafari's legendary designer, Alfred Felipe, and was part of Trafari's mogul collection. It is truly spectacular. I paid 160. Whoa, she paid 160 for it and just about doubled my money. P.S. This little pin was missing a rhinestone. Oh, wow. It was even missing a rhinestone. Where at? I don't see it. Maybe oh, right there, maybe. Wowza. That is awesome. Okay. Um, I have, uh oh. Okay. Hold on here. Let's see. 
Let me go back over here. Okay. This one comes from Geek Nurses Treasures. This is a sterling silver John Hardy Cali Pebble Link 8-inch bracelet. And I'm guessing, is this the brand right here? And it says 925. Yeah. John Hardy. That's what that's what the brand looks like, guys. John Hardy. I never would have expected that to be John Hardy. Let's see. Found this bracelet at a local thrift shop about six months ago. It was 29, but half price, so 12. Tested and was sterling silver. Researched for a while since I had never heard of John Hardy piece before, but located a very small JH hallmark on the clasp. So I guess that's a JH. I uh, knew pieces similar were between 225 and 500. I listed at 575 and accepted offer for 400. To my surprise, the piece was shipped to a GIA headquarters in California. How cool is that? Again, thanks for all you do for the reselling community. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Cat Feel and Thrifty has one more. Are you guys ready for this one? And it was a fast sale and it was an unexpected one. And, you know, I find it a little bit unexpected too, because it's, it's, well, you'll just see. And I have another one also I'm going to show you. So give me just a second. Let's pull up mine first. This one right here, I told you guys I was listing some pins. Well, this is one of the pins I listed and I could not find an exact comp, but mine was on the original card. So, of course, what did I do? I listed it high. Um, it was 120th 10 karat lapel pin. You can see it right there on the back. And it was on the card. So I was like, eh, I'm just going to list it at 100 bucks, put my sale on and see what happens. And it sold really quick for a best offer of $50. It is a vintage Sons of the American Legion Pass Commander. And I also received... I think it was in the offer, a note that said they had just graduated or become a part of this. I'm not sure, but kind of the same situation as what Noel was saying is somebody needed it for a function or to be a part of a club or membership or a legion or whatever. And this sold for $50. Okay, let's take a look at those earrings and brooch set. Vintage Napier Danish Grape Leaf Breach breach brooch earring set 1959 book piece so cat is really good at knowing she has some books so she flips through them and she she learns and she found this piece i would have said five dollars start <laughs> and i probably would have sold her for 50 all right Purchased a lot of four jewelry sets from one of my favorite jewelry thrifting spots. Paid about 15 for this set. I knew it had to be special and I know vintage Napier can be a big collectible, but I was shocked when I pulled comps. So I think this is the book piece right here. So that's how she knew the date. Um, let's see. I listed before bedtime and it sold for full price plus shipping while I was sleeping. So fun to wake up to. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do for us. My eBay store is Cat Feel and Thrifty. And again, you guys, Cat Feel and Thrifty is over on Whatnot. And she is bringing amazing stuff like this to Whatnot. You got to follow her. So um, check her out and check me out, Bolo Buddies, on Whatnot. Those links are all down below. Um, I do have referral and affiliate links down below. A lot of you have asked, what kind of ring light do I use for um, Whatnot? It's amazing. Cat Feel and Thrifty has it. Lucky Day Living has it. Seems So Vintage has it. Flippin' Friends has it. Thrifter Picker Shipper has it. We all have it and we all love it. So um, there's more information on that ring light. And I do have an affiliate link down there and you can get, I forget what the discount is. It's in the description. You guys can check that out. But you can click on that link and I have the marble base. That's the one I have. And I absolutely highly recommended. I love it. So I worked really hard to get an affiliate so that I could get you guys a discount. So um, if you have the lamp and you like it, uh, let me know down in the comments. All right. And all of those uh, channels that I mentioned are whatnot. So um, I mentioned five. I think I got all of them that bought the lamp. 
Um, and I didn't have the referral link then. That was just me saying, I love it. And they're like, I have to have one. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have a link. <laughs> so they all just bought it because they trust me and they love it. So um, check it out. It's, it'll, it's great for whatnot. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.